This is a $2,000 mistake, putting this camera on cheap support. One of the first purchases of any content creator is a tripod. But of course, if you start upgrading your camera, you also upgrade your tripod to hold that expensive solid brick you got. Today, we're talking about a tripod that combines a low profile with reliable strength to support your expensive camera. The Coleman Carbon Fiber Video Tripod. Let's find out if it's really worth it. Now, if you aren't familiar with carbon fiber tripods, they get pricey and fast. And just because they're pricey doesn't mean they're worth it. One of the first carbon fiber tripods that I bought was $600. And although it was excellent, it's hard to recommend to anybody who isn't a pro travel photographer at the time. But now we have something just as good for nearly a third of the price. Coman reached out and asked if I want to check this out for a review, but they are not sponsoring this video. Right out of the box, we got a carrying case to protect our tripod from the elements. It comes with a carrying strap, but it also has side handles if you like to carry that way. The box also includes accessories and supports like spiked feet, longer tripod head plate, and a center column. I just wish that the bag came with inner pockets or at least an extendable end to the bag to store all, if not some of these objects and accessories. But the bag gets the job done. So of course we got ourselves the legs of carbon fiber and they're solid and light. The overall weight of the tripod is 1.43 kilograms or 3.1 pounds. Good weight for travel and slim profile for packing. Because of the form factor, there is a little bit of a flex, but that's to be expected when you have all these extended out. In terms of the tripod head, you're gonna love this. Normally tripods come with either a ball head, which is great for photo, but not video, or it comes with a video head, which is great for video, but not for photo. Not only does this video tripod come with a fluid head that pans and tilts, but also has a ball head right underneath that doubles as a horizontal lock. If you've got an uneven horizon, no problem. Adjust this lock right here on the side. If you want this for vertical photos and videos, no problem. Loosen this knob right here to raise the center column and then loosen the same knob for horizontal control and just tilt it off to the side. This tripod is rated to support up to six kilograms or 13 pounds. Here's what it's like with my Sony FX30 with the Sigma 18 to 35. And then here's what it's like when it's turned horizontally while being supported by one of the legs. Overall, the knobs are solid and easy to tighten. The tilting knob is as great as it's not too large nor too small, giving you good control of adjusting your camera setup. Now, although this video head is quite small, it does have a nice pan allowing it for a nice smooth left to right movement. And you would not even think that something at this size gives you this kind of effect. It's, it's great. Yeah, you don't pull this off with ball heads. In terms of the legs, they extend and tighten with these locks here. If you wish to twist your legs to lock, then this will be a bummer for you because they don't come like that. The max height with these legs are 51.6 inches without the center column, but when you include the center column, it's 60.6 inches. At the lowest height with the low mode with these legs spread out, it's 9.6 inches, but when you fold everything together as so, it's 18.9 inches. And this is all weighing at 1.45 kilograms, which is almost the same as most of our camera and lens setups. If you really wanna go down low, you can go ahead and unthread this center column itself and just turn it. But if you decide to deploy this tripod in much windier environments, you can be rest assured that there is a hook at the bottom of this center column. So you can go ahead and hang a backpack or anything just to keep it grounded. Inside the center column, if you unscrew this, you'll also notice that you do have a hex wrench, or at least a single hex wrench. And yeah, that's just convenient. This way you can go ahead and unscrew and tighten anything here on this tripod, just so you can go ahead and get your lower shots and be rest assured that if anything starts to loosen over time that you can go ahead and fix it up real quick without having to dig for your multi-tool. When we look closer at the video head itself, the quick release system for this is Arca Swiss compatible. It doesn't loosen or tighten with any knobs, but instead it does tighten and unlock with this push knob here on the back. It's not my favorite way to operate, especially if you have a slightly bulky setup, but it keeps the overall tripod setup slim. They do include a short and long Arca Swiss plate, the short one being completely flat, allowing you to adapt your own quick release clamps of choice. I choose the multi-hole Falcam F38 plate that pairs well with my Falcam cage for my Sony FX30. 
Then there's also the longer Arca Swiss plate that comes with its own clamp as Arca Swiss compatible. Normally I would go ahead and ditch the Arca Swiss plates as my Sony FX30 cages already have one built in, but I decided to stick with these ones because they have preventative slipping pins. Without these pins, someone could easily just bump into my setup and knock the camera straight off, even if this thing does fit Arca Swiss. One of the things that make this tripod stand out more than the others is having this small quarter inch 20 thread that allows you to be able to mount different things like a phone mount, LED light, or any magic arm. I personally don't use it often, but the other day I actually did use it to hook up a magic arm connected to my Viltrox monitor at church. And then of course, having that slim profile of being able to extend the center column and turn this thing vertical when you need it. You can use this tripod for anything if you wanna keep your setup light for travel or for serious client work, whether it's for weddings or events, as these legs really won't let you down. They're favorable for outdoors, especially when you travel because these can be replaced with spikes. When I go to church, I try not to bring my Nanak case or any rolling bag. I just wanna go ahead and fit everything on a sling and this tripod helps achieve that. I pair this up with my Wotan Craft Pilot 7 liter and it's been working well. When in the studio, sometimes I build up my Sony FX30 a little larger than I'd like and the tripod still ends up holding it well with no problems. At this point, you've seen what the tripod is and it's not gonna cost you $600 just for some carbon fiber. Originally, this was priced at $299, but it's got an $80 coupon with an additional 15% off if you have an Amazon account. And it actually brings it down to $149. So with a $600 budget, you could buy three of these tripods if you really wanted to. At this price point, you're looking even closer at all the other carbon fiber tripods that Coman makes for Ulanzi. And if you want to spend $50 more, there's the aluminum version of Peak Design's travel tripod, but you'd have to buy a separate video head if you want to have a similar experience to this tripod. If you're still wondering if this is for you, I tell you, this is the tripod for anybody who's looking for a small yet strong tripod package for your compact yet pro camera setup, especially when focused on video. Whether for photo or for video, this fits the creative needs for anyone traveling or even anyone at home in the bedroom studio. Good tripods aren't cheap, but they definitely don't cost $600 anymore. But if you wanna see what a single tripod like that gets you, you'll find it over here.